Swaggers game day this week. I'm at the Holton Stadium for the first Super 8s qualifying game. Witness Vikings take on the London Broncos. It's a massive game, but something even bigger than the game tonight. There's a wedding going on. <laughs> I've lost me out. There's a wedding going on. Right. How good we are wedding. Amazing. Amazing. When I got married, the best day of my life, was it yours? Yes. Your, your husband, is your husband at the back? No, that's his best man. <laughs> oh, best man, best man. <laughs> Can I come to you tonight? Yeah. Yes, what is that? Go Kim, ahead. Kim, do not wait up for me tonight. I'm going out, out, out. Are you guys dumping these bikes, right? And going in and watching the game? Might do, yeah. You might do. Yeah. Need some free it depends. Tickets. We'll try and get yeah. some tickets. Yeah. yeah. We, need get, we need to get these boys in to support their team. Where does, where does, where does, where does? Steve what's going on? What are you selling? This must be new. New it's, enterprise. It, it's my new life. Journalism's dead, Wagger. So, Journalism's uh, dead. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, can't work for 5p a word anymore. So uh, <laughs> so it's dead. I'm on 7p. Oh, 7p. Per sale. Yeah, 7p. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, going once. I'll I'll mean, sell this bits. is uh, Phil Brown. Phil, Phil Brown, Brown, good to see you again. Phil, Phil started oh, uh, Tag Rugby in the UK. He's, very successful sporting administrator, probably more successful than a lot of, with respect, a lot of administrators in rugby league at the moment. And uh, this is our new new venture. So what we're just going to get on, the on then? What kind of different tops? Well, there's this wonderful, amazing PNG. book. It's an amazing Box. book. Oh, amazing book, this one. Oh, I want a book. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, I see. What a book. Read this one. <laughs> but I uh, know we've got. Um, We've got uh, Italy, uh, uh, Tonga, Fiji, oh, awesome. uh, Samoa, Ireland, uh, Canada. Uh, we've got the, how about these? You must have a pair of these. Look at these. Oh, look at that, that <laughs> naughty! <laughs> that double naughty! So yeah, there's a lot happening, uh, Wagger, with International Rugby League at the moment. We finally have a, a schedule going ahead in the next uh, 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 four to eight years, which we've never had before. Uh, Nines is taking off and uh, Kiwis are touring this autumn, so um, yet the stuff's hard to get. And I'm, as a fan, we find it very hard to find this stuff. So I love going to the storeroom on my own and just, just looking at this stuff. I want to keep it all for myself. I actually feel like someone's died when I sell something. <laughs> Yeah. Cheers, boys. Go no, on. thanks for Thank visiting you. us. Mascobrowns.com. I'm joined by Richard, the community director down at Witness Vikings. Talk to us about what you've recently launched then, Richard. Yeah, yeah so, so tonight we're launching our uh, Equalise project. It's a project that we've delivered in partnership with Stonewall. Stonewall is the organisation behind uh, the Rainbow Laces campaign, which uh, many people are familiar with from football uh, and cricket. And we approached them a year ago with an opportunity to come on our shirts. So uh, the Vikings boys have had Rainbow Laces on the upper back of their kits this year. And really for us, uh, equal, the development of Equalise is the legacy of that partnership for years yep. to come. And we're going to be going into schools in Holton, uh, speaking about equality and diversity, uh, gender stereotypes, positive role models, and really kind of promoting the values of rugby league. You know, it's an inclusive sport. It's got great values. We want more people to come here and feel safe coming here. So we're really excited to be doing it. How proud do you feel to bring this on board and launch it at, the, at this club? Really proud, and I think you know the Vikings. We really pride ourselves on what we do in the community. We, we pride ourselves on being a rugby club, not just a rugby team. Yeah. Uh, we do over 50 projects in the community, and this one here is a first in rugby league. It's actually a, f a first in sport. First in rugby league. First in rugby league. Oh, awesome. Which you know, we, we, which we're really proud to be doing, and you know, we want to get the, the game to more people. We want do you to want more it. clubs to follow in your suit then? Yeah, I hope so, because. You know, as I said, we've done some work with LGBT groups over in Liverpool, yep. uh, here in Holton, and for us, it's about spreading, you know, the brand of the Vikings, but rugby league in general, and getting yep. more people coming to the stadium, enjoying the sport, hooked on it, playing it, everything. And this, for us, you know, is a great new project to, to reach a new audience. Awesome. Good luck tonight. Cheers, Cheers Richard. Mate. Thanks a lot. Matt Davis, who was signed at Waterton. You're very impressed with him, Langers. Yeah, extremely impressed. We've got a, as you, as you mentioned earlier, we've. Uh, a really strong academy infrastructure. We produce a lot of talent at London. Sometimes the problem is holding on to them, as we yeah. know. Obviously, we lost Lewis to to Hull FC, and uh, you might see Lewis feature in these in these Super Eights actually for Hull, which would be awesome. Uh, but Matt Davis is another one. He's absolutely outstanding. And in my opinion, I, I came down and Matt had just left the academy, so I probably not worked with him as much at that age. But straight away, he strikes you as someone. Uh, is, is that rare kind of player who's got that desire, that commitment, that attitude that you don't always find. And um, I'd probably compare him to people who know Stuart Field and what Stu were like in, uh, in his day. Matt's got that same intensity, that same desire yeah. in training, with his preparation, his focus, his determination. 
Um, we always say if, if, if Matt was six foot three and over 100 <laughs> kgs, it'd, if, it'd be Sam Burgess. Oh yeah. You know, he'd be playing for England right now. That's that's how highly I rate him, and I've no doubt he'll go to Warrington and and. Uh, Do you, you know, believe he'll, he'll take it to that next level? I think level. he'll, you know, he'll he'll fight tooth and nail until he's yeah. uh, until he's probably playing for Great Britain, mate. That's the that's the desire he's got, and as I say, we're really fortunate to have some to have some really good young players coming through at London and hopefully they can be the ones that, that kick us on to that next level and, and get us to Super League one day. Which is which? <laughs> which is which? Ted. Jay. Jay. Jay is a lot, yeah. oh, he's, he's a lot smarter. Yeah. So talk to us about Beat the Scrum campaign then. Uh, well, the Beat the Scrum campaign basically work with the NHS literally just to show people that there's a different type of care called urgent care, which is sort of a cent cent centre that not many people use at the minute. But if people use that, then it takes a lot of stress off our GPs and our um, a &E services. So it's basically a place where if you've got a common cold or you feel a bit under weather, you can actually go to urgent care and get the help you need and stop clogging up spaces in A&E and GPs, what a lot of people are doing, which costs the NHS a lot of money. So yeah. it's just a sh us showing a different way which people can use the NHS to better efficiently use the NHS for them and for us as well as people. So it's quicker anyway, it takes about 10, 15 minutes and you're getting seen anyway, so. That's great, what did you guys do to get involved then? Did the club come to you or have you been out there? Um, first of all, the club came and approached the players and said we've got a campaign and it wasn't one of them that they wanted to do half-heartedly because it wouldn't have worked, so they wanted everyone to buy into it and we thought, oh yeah, sweet, and they know me and Jay will do anything for it. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> yeah, you are the banter. Any, you are the banter. Camera, yeah, you know? So literally they just went, right, so we and Jay ended up facing the campaign really and doing a, quite a bit of it and they'll play this summer as well and we did videos like the flu fighters, if you've seen it with me, Graf and Jay, I don't know how he got dragged into it, Graf felt sorry for him. <laughs> Let's and, talk about these videos. What uh, kind of videos? We're going to put these videos uh, up and we're going to watch them. Well, well, first of all, we've been in a band, so the Flu Fighters, if you want to hire us, we are available on weekends, so get that sorted. <laughs> Legends. Um, yeah, Legends. We, 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 we've been um, in hospital beds having races along the corridors, high five, and just, like, the amount of people that have been involved behind and just scrums seeing... Scrums in the middle of hospitals. Yeah, scrums oh, in the middle of hospitals, yeah. everything. But no, it's been, an, it's been such a good laugh. And all the, the one thing that's made it good is all the boys have bought into yeah. it. No one's been like, oh, I can't be bothered doing that. Literally, we've been half the time the boys are making it up anyway as well. They're coming up with the ideas, to be honest. So best way. I love yeah. banter. That's what I love about it's rugby. Good. It's brilliant, honestly, and just everyone getting involved and making it good. So talk to us about the leaders in sport that you've been nominated for in this award. Oh well, it's an international award, really. That like we're up against like Man United, NFL teams, and it's just a combination of massive programs and massive teams that we're up against such as a small community but to get up to the into that stage is just fantastic and I think the whole community should be proud of themselves not just the players the, the fans or everyone that supported the campaign it just shows globally how well we've done with this campaign so massive, yeah. rugby league as well not yeah, just witness yeah. Vikings well done guys let's go link to one of these funny videos now the flu fighters <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, what's going on here? Do you not know? We're helping the NHS this winter with the flu fighters. The flu fighters. The flu fighters. Unbelievable. <laughs> For more practical ways to promote staying well this winter, visit beatthescrum.com. You haven't missed a game in two years since you signed in 2017. That's massive. Yeah. How do you do it? <laughs> How do you do it? I don't know. I wish, I wish there were an, uh, an easy answer, really. But um, yeah, I just do my training and get on with it. And, that, and I've been touch wood. I've been lucky enough to get through games unscathed. And um, hopefully I'll get through this one unscathed and we can get the win. How good a season has it been, though, Pitsy? Finishing second, Toronto to lose. Uh, Brilliant season for you guys. T plenty of confidence. Super eight starts tonight. Qualifiers. You've got Witness Vikings. They they've got plenty of players back as well. Yeah, it is. It's going to be. Obviously, this is what we strive for all year. It's been a it's been a tough year to get up to where we are, and um, we've been in some tough games, and we've we've ground our way through them as well. So, yeah, it's uh, it's really exciting. We've uh, we've had a bit of a break, and uh, we're back into it now. And yeah, everyone's raring to go. And um, what a better way to do it than 
on Sky Telly on uh, Thursday night. I've just come in, offered everyone a free pint, and only you two have took me up on it, so thank you. Thank Kirsty, you are you good at downing pints? Very. Very good. Who's your favourite witness player? <laughs> She's not a bother, she's just here for a pint. Has Kirsty got plenty of support, guys? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Kirsty, and oh, we've got. Derek. 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 Score prediction for tonight's game against London. 48-12. Three, two, one, go! Quack, I don't know why I do it. New challenge. Bring, <laughs> bring the Maltesers back. <laughs> Rubbish. Jamie Langley says you're a legend. With this drum, home and away games, you're always there. Gotta be, gotta be. I want them back in Super League because that's where they belong. I want to see London back in Super League. We throw that ball about, we don't mess about. And we're gonna we're gonna smash witness tonight. Yeah, I'm telling you. Half time. It's only six nil half time. That's nothing. Do you come to every away game? Every game. That is some every, commitment. Every game. They're all playing as a team. They're all they're all doing it together. That's what I like. London, London. We will we will make the million pound game. You'll make the million pound game. If not better. I'm a Yorkshire lad, through and through. I don't know if you can understand me. Right. I need some Cockney scenes. I need a quick lesson on some Cockney. Well, um, as I say, you could go down the Frog and Toad, the old rubber pub, rubber dub, to get some bees and money out the old Sky Rocket to have a bit of a pig's ear. And then you, get, then you might get a bit hit and missed afterwards. Sorry, <laughs> 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 miss. When you retire, you do not get this feeling back. Amongst the guys, they're pumped. No, they all love one Yeah! 21 20 against the winners, Played the game. I'm joined by the match winner, Jazz Summer, the game changer. <laughs> did you feel you had that kick in? When you strike it, when you stroke it, boom, beauty, did you think it was going over? Yeah, it um, beautiful strike. I've, I've, I've not hit a ball any sweets in my life than that <laughs> one there. Um, it, it did not veer from straight over the black dot. So. Oh, that needs to be beer. <laughs> Never mind the win tonight. I'm off to Catalans next week. I need some places to visit. Just one place. Just one place. Just one place to be. Where is that? La Pizza Tech. Yeah, you know, you know that. You know that. Yeah, I know, I know. You know that. Yeah, yeah. Disco Tech. Disco Tech Pizza Tech will be in fire. In fire. In fire. It's a great way to kick off our uh, Super Ace campaign. Um, we've been there, thereabouts the last few years, and but just come up short. So. I think, you know, the, the lead up into the eight has put us in really good stead. Um, we've got some great wins under our belt. Um, you know, I, I think it's all in our control now. 